Okay, today I'll be doing quotient rule with the chain rule inside. Now for this we'll be using the quotient rule formula which is f prime of x equals v times u prime minus u times v prime over v squared. And then for our chain rule, which is going to be our u, it's going to be u prime equals i prime times o prime with the original i inside. So first we'll get our u and v. u is going to equal 4x plus 3 to the third, and v is going to equal 7x minus 4. So our inside on u is going to be 4x plus 3. So our inside prime is going to equal 4. Our O is going to equal everything to the power of 3, and our O prime is going to equal 3 times everything to the second. So now we're going to plug this in, which is going to be 4 times 3 with the original I, which is going to be 4x plus 3 to the second, and simplify it, and that's going to give us U prime equals 12 times 4x plus 3 to the second, and then our V prime is going to equal seven. So now we're going to go and do our quotient rule, which is going to be f prime of x equals 7x minus 4 times 12 times 4x plus 3 to the second minus um, 4x plus 3 to the third times 7. And that's going to all b over v squared, so that's going to be 7x minus 4 squared. So now what we're going to do is simplify this by factoring out our 4x plus 3. We can factor out 2, so that's going to be 4x plus 3 squared, and then we're going to use brackets to show 7x minus 4 times 12 minus, so we still have one more 4x plus 3 left on this side times 7. That's still all going to be over 7x minus 4 squared. And then we'll be able to multiply on the inside, so that's going to give us 4x plus 3 squared with uh, 84x minus 48 minus 28x minus 21 and that's all over 7x minus 4 squared. And then I'm going to combine like terms and get 4x plus 3 squared times 56x minus 69 over 7x minus 4 squared. And that is going to be the answer.